organize the position of our students and ourselves is of great importance and largely depends on the following. The space available, type of chairs and tables, the age of our students, the activity, and student personality. Hi everyone, and welcome to another video from Come Alive, your source of teaching and training ideas. In this video, we will talk about the six most effective classroom seating arrangements, their advantages and disadvantages, as well as when to use them in your classes, depending on the activity. Before we continue, please support our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell to receive updates on upcoming videos. Please leave comments and share this video and channel to your friends who are interested in educational videos. Thank you. Okay, let's start with the list. Number 1. Orderly rows or columns. This has been the traditional form of seating for many years in most schools. The teacher has a clear view of all the students and all the students can see the teacher. It makes lecturing easy. Enables the teacher to maintain eye contact and helps reduce discipline problems. If the rows are well organized, the teacher should be able to move freely around the classroom. Such seating is particularly effective for whole class activities. In larger classes of 25 or more students, it is often the best and only solution. Advantages Good for individual work and productivity Easy supervision Good for presentations, lecturing, demonstrations, and exams And it minimizes cheating and distractions Disadvantages Uneven distribution of interaction Discourages student-centered interactions and group work and, if not well organized, the teacher will have difficulty moving this from student to student. Number 2. Circles and Horseshoes They are often used in smaller classes, where the teacher and board are situated at the open end of the arrangement. The teacher's position is less dominating and there is less of a feeling that the student is at the front or back of the classroom. This often allows the students to be more focused on the lesson. These arrangements often make pair work easier and allow students to have eye contact with all other class members. The classroom in effect becomes far more a personal environment. The advantages are Easier to engage with the whole class. Large area for presentations. Promotes participation and discussion. And it facilitates connection between the teacher and the entire class. On the other hand, the disadvantages are it's not favorable to shy students and you may have difficulty to control behavior. Number 3. Separate Tables or Clusters Students are seated in small groups of individual tables, and the classroom becomes even more informal. This is particularly useful for group work, and suitable for small spaces. The advantages of this arrangement are it is easy for the teacher to work at one table while the other groups continue their work. This develops problem solving, reflection, and communication skills. You can form groups strategically. It promotes conveying of ideas and interaction of all students. Also, it can be used for a class with students at different learning levels or lessons. On the other hand, the disadvantages are it can create disciplinary problems 
when students feel that they are a part of a small group rather than the whole class. The teacher is unable to maintain eye contact with all students. Decreased productivity and the strongest student might do the bulk of work. Those are the three most popular seating arrangements, but we will also have those that can be alternatives. Number four is combination. You can use this arrangement if you have students with different learning styles and learning levels, if you have students with behavior problems, and it is possible to combine any of the three most popular arrangements depending on the needs of students. Number five is runway. You can use this for discussions and lectures because the emphasis is on the teacher. This is popular for smaller classes. The teacher uses the runway between the two facing rows. Number six is the stadium. This arrangement is another teacher-centric setup. Two clusters of desks are facing the same direction. It encourages a little class interaction, although centered on the teacher because of the position of the desks and chairs. Let us always remember, we must make sure not to move the students without a reason. The purpose should be seen and felt by the class. Each school, classroom, student and situation is unique and may have different needs. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. We hope it can help you in your classes. Please don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Make your classroom come alive.